welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. All right, beloved, as we think this week on what we learned this past Sunday from Colossians chapter 3, verse 12, I hope first and foremost that you are greatly encouraged by the sermon and by being reminded uh, of God's heart for us. This passage gives us three descriptions of who we are in God. And as we mentioned at great length on Sunday, it's important for us to understand that Scripture always roots our obedience in who we are in God. It is it is our standing before God. It is our position in Him that leads to our obedience, not the other way around, not our obedience leading to or meriting our position with God. That's an essential truth of the gospel. We act, we live, we obey His commands because of what He's done for us, because of who we are in Him, not in order to earn salvation or to earn a standing before him. That's a very crucial thing for us to remember. And as we do that, we look to these three things that it describes us as in Colossians 3.12. We are chosen of God, holy and beloved. He put his love upon us. He chose us. He chose to draw us to himself. He set us apart for his purposes. That's the idea of holy. And he put his special covenant-keeping love on us. What glorious truth this is. And it should give us no end to reasons to praise Him and to glorify Him. So let me encourage you to do that today. Spend some time thinking through what we learned about these three characteristics, that He chose us, that we are His, not because we chose Him, not because we did anything to merit Him, but because He of His own free, sovereign will chose us, that He set us apart for His purposes, that He has set us aside like fine china to accomplish a purpose that He desires for us, and that He put his love upon us. What glorious truth this is. Spend some time reflecting on this truth, dear friends, and spend some time praising the Lord for this truth. There could be no greater application of this truth than to just simply spend some time praising the Lord, thanking him for choosing you, for setting you aside for himself, and for loving you. I pray this encourages you and continues to encourage you throughout your week this week. I love you, Grace Community, and I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to Grace Today. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church of Elgin, Texas, and how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.